Okay, so let's try this one. It says uh, the pH of a 0 0.25 molar HF solution is 2.036. What are the values of Ka and pKa for hydrofluoric acid? So, in order to do these um, Ka, uh, pKa questions, so it's asking you what is the P or the Ka. So, in order to figure that out, you have to figure out well, what is the equation of HF, or hydrofluoric acid, reacting with water? So let's write that out first. So HF aqueous plus H2O liquid is in equilibrium with F minus aqueous plus H3O plus aqueous. Okay? So, since we know that, and we know how to figure out Ka, we should be able to put the two together. So, what would be the expression for Ka? So, recall it's the products. Concentration of the products. Products over the? Over the concentration of the reactants. The reactants, right? So, in this case, um, the products are going to be a concentration of F minus times the concentration of H3O plus divided by the concentration of the reactants. Now remember with the reactants, we only put the things that are either aqueous or gaseous in these equilibrium expressions, so we're going to leave out water. So HF, concentration of HF, like that. Um, so you might be tempted to take this concentration here and plug it into this value. But unfortunately, you can't do that, because this actually is the initial concentration of HF. So what you're going to have to do is set up what we call an ice table. So initial, ice initial um, change equilibrium. So I-C-E, initial change equilibrium. And from this, we can get the value of Ka. Okay, so the initial concentration of HF is presented to us in the problem at 0 0.250 molar. H2O, we don't worry about. F minus, the problem didn't tell us to put any in there, right? So it's 0 molar. H0 plus 0 molar. But, once we added our HF, it did react with water, so something happened to it. It decreased by some amount. So, that amount we're just going to say is x, and the negative shows that it decreased, okay? So, since we have a one-to-one -one ratio of hf to f minus, right, this f minus increased as much as this hf decreased. So we're going to put a positive x there, okay? And, of course, the same thing happened to h3o plus, so positive x there. So our equilibrium concentration, which is what we're going to put in to this expression for Ka, is going to be for HF, 0 0.250 molar minus X, and F is going to be X, and H3O plus is going to be X. So let's just go ahead and put these equilibrium values in for Ka. So F set is X, H3O plus is also X, and HF is 0 0.250, um, there's no units in Ka, so we'll just not put any minus X. Okay, so the problem also gives us this information though, pH. So what do we know about the pH? pH is the negative log of the concentration of hydronium ion. So, what are we looking for? Well, one of the things we're looking for is the concentration of hydronium ion, and it happens to equal X. So, it'd be really nice to figure out, well, what is that concentration? So, if we rearrange this, H3O plus equals 10 to the negative pH which equals 10 to the negative 2.036. So we're going to have to plug that into our calculator. And then I 
get um, 9.20 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. So, notice that equals H3O plus and H3O plus equals X, so we can plug that value in for all of those things. So let's do that. So x times x is x squared, so I'm just going to write 9.20 times 10 to the negative third squared divided by 0 0.250 minus 9.20 times 10 to the negative third. Okay, so... Okay, so when we do that, we get the P, the sorry, the Ka, and it's going to be three point five two times ten to the negative four, no units. So that's the Ka for hydrofluoric acid. And remember, in chemistry, um, P that's just another name for something uh, the function that's the negative log function. So if we're looking for something that's pKa, that's going to be the negative log of the Ka. So the negative log of that number that we just figured out, 3.52 times 10 to the negative 4. And I get 3.454 when I do that. So remember your significant figure rules when you're going to and from logs, right? So we went from 4, so we went down to 3. And so we went from 3 here up to 4, okay? So you got to remember that rule. Um, go back to chapter 1 if you don't remember. <laughs> so are there any questions on this one? Pretty mm -hmm. long, drawn out process, but you got to do it every time. Okay, so these ice tables are really the key for doing all of these types of problems. Okay, let's kill that one. <laughs>